this promise is going to be fulfilled in you today and you will be joyful that is uh, that is the third manifestation of the anointing of the holy spirit you will be extremely joyful in your life in the midst of your struggle you will be joyful that's a manifestation of the anointing of the holy spirit amen amen so are you joyful or sorrowful joyful father. joyful means that is anointing of the holy spirit is already in you then wait for the appropriate time and in his time your sickness will be healed may not be today or maybe today or tomorrow in his time ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 god has time for everything in his time this will happen so joyfully prayerfully wait for your turn surely god will bless you because psalm 23 verse 6 says his goodness and kindness will follow me throughout my life surely his mercy and goodness shall follow me all the days of my life thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus how do we know that god is in control holy spirit will reveal to you and also god has prepared every blessing around you first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 god has prepared everything for you your eyes have not seen it ears have not heard it heart has not perceived it the reason that there is no spirit or revelation so when we look to our problems and look around through the anointing or revelation of the holy spirit god has already prepared everything that you need around you he is already at hand even kingdom of god is also at hand so we all are in need of spirit of revelation and through this anointing you will get what all that god has already prepared around you you will see it and you will take it because bible says first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 god has prepared everything but our eyes uh, have not seen it and we have not received it it is waiting for receiving anointing so what we shall do go always to our prayer room sit there at least one hour everyone should have a prayer room and or a place of prayer sit there and pray with the nine steps of personal prayer page 97 the last step is called contemplation listening prayer that time you will get powerful anointing the last step of the prayer is anointing after that only you have to go out for your routine work and if you have this habit surely one day you will be fully anointed by the holy spirit thank you jesus thank you jesus. one young man came from chennai and he has a bad habit of drinking after the retreat also he went to chennai and he ordered a chill beer and he was sitting in the uh, in the bar and about to drink holy spirit spoke to him that time in the bar not in the retreat center this is good but not for you first corinthians 6:12 this is good it is allowed but not good for you three messages he received in the bar this is not good for you that time he got the power to stop it and he paid the bill went out without drinking and even today he doesn't have any desire to drink amen when yes. holy spirit comes we will come out of our bad habits without having much difficulty amen amen because there is a struggle to come out of certain habit and even though you have a habit breaker or detoxification therapy and also de addiction centers and treatment going on nothing will be effective until holy spirit comes when holy spirit comes you will come out of your sorrows out of your mental sickness out of your physical illness out of your difficulties out of your financial bondage that's why the lord has given this promise i will send my power upon you then you will be able to keep the commandments otherwise breaking in the commandments hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus and also when we receive this anointing when we pray over somebody we know what is prayer what is a good prayer to pray over this person the spirit will give us the wording how to use the prayer and what word we have to use in the prayer it is not written in the book but the holy spirit reveals that time 1997 one autistic boy came to be prayed over 
and the father and mother hold him then i closed my eyes and i just prayed over him i closed my eyes when i opened my eyes what this boy did he started breaking my cassock buttons broke one two three four and he reached up to my neck after my prayer i have seen there is no button only one or two in the top thereafter when i pray for the children i never closed my eyes because i don't know what they are going to do and this boy found missing during the holy mass this boy boy found missing in the church as jesus found missing in the jerusalem temple then all are in search of him and this is not a big place and searching searching this happened in 1997 in chebur then somebody saw two small legs out of the window out of the uh, chairs where we keep file up all the chairs empty chairs he went inside and started sleeping there so the mother pulled him out of this hole then he woke up that boy turned as a normal boy praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so the anointing helps us what kind of prayer to be offered for an autistic boy today we have a testimony like this now i pray over the whole world those who are online i pray over them according to the inspiration of the holy spirit i pray testimony number 17 josephine from malaysia giving a testimony i have received healing from breast cancer praise the lord praise the lord so what prayer we have to offer for a person who is suffering of cancer holy spirit will reveal then testimony number 18 jesse says my nephew nova has recovered from autism and speech issues through this online ministry this child is healed of autism and the first one i have seen in 1997 the autistic child is healed instantaneously that boy's autism is gone and this child received progressive healing autism is healed and speech issues gone through this online adoration praise the lord praise and the lord. she prayed in proxy for her nephew and i am fortunate to have a nice job with a proper position and salary so she prayed for her nephew she he was healed and she was also blessed with good prosperity thank you jesus thank you today jesus. we have a live testimony it's a wonderful testimony Johnny the Maskaranas kindly stand up. She has come for this Thanksgiving retreat for five days. That her daughter has recovered from psoriasis and has received a good rise and promotion. And her daughter Samantha, suffering of psoriasis and rashes in the body for a long, long period. No medicine helped her. then they started praying through online ministry and also got a message from logos do one icu prayer so they did the icu prayer then one day they heard that her name is called out samanda you are being healed that day i claimed it for herself that day on was that rashes and psoriasis started fading the day in which your name is called out that day on was it is healed now perfectly and completely healed after that healing she got a significant rise significant rise in her salary and also a good promotion this anointing will break your bondage and also this anointing will teach you how to pray to set others free and she stands in the middle of this house glorify the lord by lifting up your hands thank you jesus praise thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah when you receive your healing and anointing please come to logos attend one five days retreat and give your testimony or attend a one day retreat on saturday and give your testimony and go back to your destination what is the promise word anointing will break the bondage and corresponding or correlating promises soon you will get this anointing 
Then Jesus said, wait for this anointing. Saint Peter said, you will receive it. Your children at home also will receive it. Acts chapter 2 verse 9. You will receive it, your children at home and also grandchildren going to come to this world, they also will get it. From generation to generation, this anointing that you receive today or you have already received will remain. Now, those who have some issues and problems in the family, lift up your hands. Those who have problems and issues in finances, lift up your hands. Those who want to arrange the marriage of children and grandchildren, lift up your hands. Those who are cheated and betrayed financially, lift up your hands. Those who want to have a houses, please lift up your hands. And those who have an uh, issue with your salary, promotion or career, lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus, I bless your partner. Assisting partner, be turned as the best partner. All children in the family be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let them be relieved from all addictions. Let them be like olive shoots. And those parents who are praying in proxy, through their prayer, let their children be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. As it is promised in Acts chapter 2 verse 39, you will get it, your children will get it, your grandchildren will get it. According to Numbers chapter 11 verse 29, let all my people be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let my people become prophet. Let my people speak in tongues. And Yeldad and Mendad started praying and praising God outside the camp. Somebody forbid. Then Moses said, don't do that. Let my people become prophets. Let them be spirit filled. The Lord would put his spirit on them. Now we are the people of God. God Almighty sending in the Holy Spirit upon you. In the name of Jesus I pray that the Lord may bind and cast out all evil spirit from you and release the Holy Spirit upon you. Amen. Place your hands above your head and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. For sending your Holy Spirit. For sending your Holy Spirit. My whole family. My whole family. Being filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Being filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Keep your hands down.